Bandora is the holder. Snap is a good one. They're going to fake it. Bandora has a man back at the end zone. Pass thrown up there, and it's good for a touchdown. That's my man, Carlos Bates, <laughs> the defensive end. I like him. They send him in out of the backfield. Carlos Bates goes up high for the game-leading touchdown catch. Great execution by Vandora. They sit for the jump ball in the back of the end zone. There's a fake again. Vandora going to put it up as Patrick Martin there for the two-point conversion. Hey, a great play by Hart County. They fake it for the second consecutive time. After the field goal fake gets him a touchdown, the extra point fake gets him a two-point conversion. Hart County's gone on top here. By for the touchdown. Yeah, the blocker Jeff Laird downfield. They fake the toss sweep, then throw it back to the near side. Teddy Kraft, Kraft at the 20, at the 15, at the 10. Teddy Kraft, touchdown, Hart County. I like that Teddy Kraft. We talked about him early. He's just a sophomore, but that guy's got speed. He can catch the football. And Washington went blowing in there. So here's a shotgun package on third down and 15 yards. Straight drop by Vandora. Puts it up there. Has a man out there. Pass is complete at the 20-yard line. Teddy Kraft has done it again. Sophomore wide receiver from Hart County has put his team on top here, 27-8. to eight. Perfect pass by Jeremiah Vandora. John Dewberry, you see the final score. Hart County advancing to the double-A finals. They beat Cedartown 28 to 8, your final score. And John Nelson standing by with Hart County coach William Devane. A happy man. Yes, he certainly is. Chuck no soap opera here. Now there was one quote that I remember. It had to do with the way you were raised, that if you stop folks, that you're gonna win football games. You did that after the first minute nine of this game. Well, first of all, I, I like to say congratulations to these kids, these coaches. These fans, uh, they did a heck of a job tonight. Uh, we came back in the second half af after the halftime, and we, we made some adjustments on defense. We know what we're doing, and, and we shut them down in the second half, and then we got some more points on the board. Talk about your defense a little bit. Big day for that big front line of yours, getting the sacks, because, I mean, that's what you guys have been doing all year long. You pressure the quarterback, and you hammer him all day. Well, those guys, they, they went at it all year long. They've been going at it all year long, and they know what to do in the situations. Uh, once we got them up, couple of touchdowns and they had to start throwing the ball then we could pin our ears back and go after the quarterback Looked like they were blocking Carlos a lot but my, my big defensive tackle number 11 uh, Marco Hunt had a great night and with your offense Cedartown kept Mitchell Baker in check last week I think it was like 24 carries 17 yards you got your running game moving and didn't have any problems it seemed without looking at the video I believe Patrick Martin had a, had a, a good day uh, he ran the ball hard um, hats off to the offensive line uh, Jeremiah had another great day it was just a fantastic win for us. Now, you went to Clemson, drafted by Miami. You're perfect right here. Next week, you get to try and do something that that guy Shula did, a perfect season, but you're going to Cartersville. Well, we, we, we're just thankful for the opportunity. Uh, Coach Coach Frank Burton at uh, Cartersville's got a heck of a team. We saw them yesterday. Um, we're just excited about being in the finals. Uh, this is the first chance for Hart County in the history of the school to play for a state championship, so we, we're going to really go hard. Hartwell goes and talks to the Purple Hurricane next week. Coach, congratulations. Triple-A right. final, Hart County over Cedartown, the Bulldogs over the Bulldogs. We'll be back with more from the Georgia.